Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for the featured members bolo video. And this is part two. I have 44 big money bolos coming your way. Items that you can pick up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. Wait until you see these bolos. So like I said, these are members of my channel. And if you would like to join memberships to be in a video, you can join down below. The join button is by the like and subscribe. If you don't see it, it should be linked in the description. So definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. My channel is completely free. That is just something I do to uh, for members so that they can get shout outs and videos. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And we're going to get started. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So just be prepared to have your socks knocked off. The last item gonna I'm gonna show you, which was on the, the thumbnail, unbelievable, unbelievable. So I am gonna make you wait for it, but uh, stay tuned. And I'm gonna go through 22 items, and then we're gonna have a speed round where I do 22 items fast. So let's get started here. And the first item comes from. 1987 ventures tracy and you guys she has a newer channel but she is a bolo finder so you definitely want to go over and subscribe to her and she sold this vintage stortex white wonder weave thermal insulating baby blanket with satin trim so some of these satin trim blankets can do really, really well. I've not heard of this brand, but I love the vintage advertising on the front. So cool. She got this at a church thrift store for three bucks and she sold it for $175.87. The next item comes from Antiques from Karen, Janet. And Antiques from Karen, what her channel is about is... She um, inherited an estate from her mother. Her mom is Karen. And she was not a reseller, you guys. But she started this channel to share with um, YouTube about her journey of going through this estate. But her mom had an antique store. So, you guys, this is packed with information. So, go check it out. Super cool idea for um, a channel. But she has. Um, a thing where she shows the stuff from what I understand. This is what she told me. I have not caught a live yet. And you guys that are in the chat help her identify things. So that's super fun too. So check her out. And this is one of the items that she found and sold. So she is a reseller now. And she's got some bolos that were hiding in her mom's estate. I will tell you that. This is a Fisher Price Castle, you guys. It's um, from 1994, Great Adventure Castle, open box complete, and it sold for $249.99 plus shipping. How cool is that? The next item comes from Designs by Josie, and she recently just put out her first video. And this is what she sold. It is an induction coils, Kurt Stoyle, I don't know, it's some sort of trade school book from 1906, you guys. How cool is that? And she got this at an auction. She paid $5 for it and it ended, ended up taking a best offer of $80. The next item is Flippin' Palettes. And Flippin' Palettes, that's just what their name says. They buy things wholesale, like liquidation stuff, and they sell it. And she did mention that they're going to be going over to um, Family Flips and um, Lindy Glenn. I think they both bought pallets or they're running pallet stores now. So I think they're going to go visit those stores. So that should be some fun content coming up on their channel soon. Um, and I don't do pallets. So this is somebody who's going to help you learn about pallets because that is not my wheelhouse. I'm not interested in pallets. However, she did just submit her This Is My Bolo video, and it's pretty amazing how much money she made on one item. So you guys will see that in a future video. But this is Rogaine Women's Hair Regrowth Treatment, and she got this from a Walgreens palette. She paid about three bucks for it, and she sold this for $29.99 plus shipping. The next item was sold by Got Drunk, Got Drunk, 
got junk in our trunk. I don't know why I always mess up her name. Um, she has a lot of what solds and she has a lot of knowledge. So go and check her out over on YouTube. And she sold this vintage Stevie Ray concert shirt. It's from 1990. And she got this at the Benz for about 38 cents, you guys, and sold it for 110 plus shipping. This next item comes from a little bluebird. And this is her, what is that, a book? Ooh, that looks a little interesting. Anyway, this is her eBay store. And she sells so many different things. So definitely check out her store. It's pretty cool. Look at her mannequin. That's fun. Look at these shoes. Oh my goodness. I love looking through people's stores. Um, I could just scroll, you know, if I only had an extra 20 hours a day, right? So much to do. So little time. All right. This is what she sold. It is a Scriber or yeah, Scriber's magazine from 1909. Theodore Roosevelt first African article. And um, it looks really old and the condition, but I mean, if it's really from 1909, I mean, it's really not in that bad a condition if it's that old, right? Um, she got this at the bins for 25 cents and sold it for a best offer of 60. So I'm guessing she probably was just wanting to move it quick because you never know with things like those. They either sit or they sell fast, but usually you have to wait on the right buyer. Flipping It Good is our retail arbitrage member and yellow tag clearance. I used to do yellow tag clearance when I did retail arbitrage. That used to be my thing, yellow tag at TJ Maxx. So in this video, he talks about that. So you can go check that out. He got these Bill Bloss boots at Ross. Um, so again, Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those places is where he gets his stuff. He paid $34.99 for these and he flipped them for $140. The next item was sold by the Funky Pickle Thrifter and she does hard goods, but she is like a jewelry machine. This girl finds the most amazing jewelry. And this one right here is called Jewelry, Vintage Jewelry 101, Cleaning Old Jewelry. So she has trips, tricks and tips over on her channel and lots of what sold videos. So you will definitely get an education if you go over there. Um, she sold this Carly Simon lyric book with pictures. And what is special about this is this item you can see right here. It looks like it has handwriting in it. It's a proof and it was never published or released. And she got this at a yard sale for $1 and she took a best offer of $150 on that. The next item came from Danielle Yard Sales and Dreams. and. One find made this box worth it. So you guys will have to go check that out. Um, she sold this rubber face doll. This one's by Knickerbocker from the 1950s. Here is the little tag. And anything rubber face, I would recommend picking it up if you can get it cheap. And if it's not cheap, comp it first. But she got this for a quarter at a rummage sale and sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. So again, guys, I'm going to finish going through each member. And then again, we're going to have a speed round at the end and wait until you see the last item. So this one comes from Queen of Hearts Charnel. She does not have um, a store yet. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through some of her items here. So you guys can see some things that she has listed. Again, just lots of variety. And what did she sell, you ask? She sold this Catherine's Collection Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Halloween Decor Hanging Ornament. How cute is that? You guys, if you see Halloween stuff and it's vintage or um, it's signed or by a specific person, always look it up. This one, she got it at a thrift store for a dollar and she sold it for $33.88 plus shipping. The Thrifty Nichols. This is her YouTube channel. She's a newer channel but lots of content she does some thread up boxes she actually has a men's box that she got and from what i understand the men's boxes are harder to find so go check that out and she got this in a thread up box it's a rebecca minkoff um purse and this came it's called a rescue box if you guys don't know she got this for uh twenty dollars and took a best offer of 50 on this so she could have held out and got a little more but went for the quick sale and sold it. So I don't know too much about thread up boxes. $20 an item seems high to me. So 
I guess I would have to watch the unboxing and see what else she got. The next item comes from Nikki Love Snacks. And Nikki's got some reseller content over on her channel. Uh, she doesn't put out content all the time, but definitely sub her up when because when she does, she puts out some cool stuff. I absolutely love this one. And I remember when she posted this on Instagram. So you can follow her over there. But it's a Thomas Wooden Train California State Fair from 2007. It's rare. It's still sealed, you guys. You guys know I love toys. Um, she got it at a charity shop for 99 cents, you guys. And she flipped it for $100 plus shipping. Super cool. Gigi's Gold Mine. Again, another really, really awesome store. And definitely a bolo finder. So check out. Um, they've got just tons of stuff in their store. So a good mix. Got this at a garage sale for $3 and ended up taking a best offer of 50 for this. And it's like nativity ornaments. Um, anything nativity I pick up, but this one is Kurt Adler, which Kurt Adler is a great brand. Always look up Kurt Adler if you see it and it's hand blown glass. So very cool. The next item comes from Mutton Ridge Finds, and here is her store. Again, all of the eBay stores are linked down below, so if you see an item that interests you, you can definitely um, check them out down below, and the YouTube channels are also linked. All right, so Mutton Ridge Finds sold these Barbie Princess of Ireland and Nile Princess Dolls of the World. Um, it's a set of two. She got these on Facebook for $10 each, and she sold both of them together for 105 plus shipping. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. You guys, she is so close to 1K. Please sub her up. Let's get her to 1K. Um, she's doing a lot of live shows once a week and she interviews other resellers. And I've talked her into listing live. So she's doing some live listing shows. Um, I've been going live on my reseller testing Bolo products and I've talked her into staying on. I didn't really have to like twist her what do you call that? I don't know. I don't even know how it, what the saying is. But um, I just said, you should go on after me if you're still in the mood to list. And she went on and she went on for seven hours, you guys. Seven hours. She's crazy. She was up all night listing with you guys. So super cool. Check her out. Um, this was an RA purchase. So um, retail arbitrage. These Squishmallows. So even if they are in the stores currently, and they sell out, people are going to look for them on eBay. And she picked this up for $8.25, and it sold for a best offer of $39.15, and she has another one list listed. This is a five-year anniversary one. So um, Squishmallows do range. I do have some videos on Squishmallows if you want to learn more. One Stop Shop 59, again, eBay store, no YouTube channel, very, very cool variety of items check it out. And we're going to go right in to what they sold here. They sold these vintage Brumberger metal eight millimeter film case holds 12 cases, nine full five diameter or wait, uh, reels. I don't really know what this is. You guys, I got to be honest with you. I don't know if they have, yeah, it looks like they have content on them. I don't know. So I don't know what's on them, but interesting, right? Um, let's see where they get this. Estate sale, 20 bucks sold for $159.40 plus shipping. The next item comes from Antiques at Wandering Creek. I'm going to kind of scroll through their store here. And again, we're going to go into the speed round here very soon. And then the item they sold is a Bible. It's a new American Bible, giant print Catholic edition, 1986. So I'm sure that having um, the big print is maybe something that people, you know, that have glasses, that don't want to wear their glasses all the time might really like, right? That just have like impaired vision a little bit um, that need readers. So giant print, you know, I don't know. But it sold for $45, picked it up at an estate sale for $2 and free shipping on that one. The next item comes from Auctions For You, and Auctions For You and Donatella Bottolino go back and forth on each other's channels. Um, I actually have an unboxing coming soon, or I may have already released it by the time I show this video, so go check that out. And I recently did another one, so I've got two 
over there for you guys to watch. So what I do is I buy things from auctions for you and Donatella and I um, unbox them on my channel, but they sell stuff to resellers. So if you're looking for inventory, they are both linked down below. She sold this cord Corgi or Corgi. I'm not sure how to say it. It's a helicopter, you guys. And she bought out a toy store and she bought out, um, a, excuse me, I'm sorry. My throat's bothering me tonight. A bunch of storage units full of toys. And um, I don't know what her cost of goods was because it was a huge bulk buy. But she sold this for $99.99 plus shipping. The next item that sold was from Mindful Recycle. And you guys, I'm trying to get her to put out more content because she's amazing. She has awesome bolos. Um, I actually talked to her today and we're going to talk about maybe doing a different format because she has somebody helping her edit. And um, so I'm going to talk to her and see if I can help her out and get her putting out more videos because she's just awesome. Uh, and she's a bolo finder. You guys are definitely going to learn from her channel. She sold this Bratz doll. So what she did is she did a buyout of Bratz dolls. She bought 39 of them, all new, sealed in the box, you guys. And she paid $10 each. This one alone sold for $297 plus shipping. So if you can find the older ones in the original box, definitely a bolo. Um, it kind of depends on which edition it is. Like this one is girls night out. So certain ones are more des desirable depending on how mass produced they were. This one was a good one. Horse and hair curiosity shop. One of the coolest eBay stores. I say that every time. And it's just because the items are so, I mean, look at them. They all look vintage and well-made and hard to find. Um, very, very cool. And it has like her store has like a look to it. Like everything is, it seems like it should all be in a shop. Like it's, I don't know. It just all fits together. Um, she got this Santa at an estate sale for $35 and she sold it for $215. It is Leo Smith gift giver Santa. It's retired, um, limited edition, and it's a figurine, you guys. So here's what it looks like full size. Let me see if she usually takes a picture of the bottom. There it is. It's just got the number. It's a little blurry, but there's the marking that I was looking for. Leo Smith. The next item comes from Jare to Dream Big 1313. Again, fun, fun store. Lots and lots of stuff here. And she got this. These, I think it's... Mm, Vintage Otagari, uh, maybe? Maybe the O silent? Tagari? I don't know. Sorry, it's O-T-A-G-I-R-I. -I. But they are mugs and they're frogs. And she said these sold really quick. She got them at a uh, thrift store for five bucks. And they sold for $45.54. Let me see. This is what it says on the bottom. Mary Ann, is it Baker? And here is the little um, Made in Japan, and there's the sticker. So, very cool. The next item comes from the Cha-Ching King, and he is a major bolo finder. But I want to let you guys know, he also has videos for, like, beginners on eBay. Like, here's Step-by-Step -step eBay 2022, Make More Money in Three Clicks. But he also goes to estate sales. He's got a lot of content. So, definitely go check him out. And he sold this vintage Alfred Dunhill world travel alarm, you guys. And it has a mechanical movement in it, which means it does not take a battery. Um, estate sale, 10 bucks, you guys. And he sold this for a best offer of 350. And the reason he took a best offer is because it took a long time to sell. So he just went ahead and accepted an offer. So the next item comes from, oopsie, did I forget to pull up her? Um, I did. So she is a new member and I thought I had her YouTube channel pulled up. So I do not, but her YouTube channel is um, 1987 Ventures Tracy and that is also her eBay store. So go down below and make sure you sub her up since I... Or wait, was she the first one I did? I'm sorry. This is the speed round, guys. 
I forgot I did hers first. So we are going into the speed round. And remember the last item that I'm going to show you guys. Oh my goodness. But they're all amazing. But I just love the last one because it is just unbelievable. Okay. So I thought I messed up and I didn't. Uh, Tales from the Crypt HBO lot of VHS. So I am just going to tell you who sold it. I'm not going to pop up their channels for this part. This is a speed round. And you guys, these are VHS. Again, they are not, they're pre-owned. They're not sealed. And she sold these for $125.87 plus shipping. She got them at a church thrift store for two bucks. The next item comes from um, Antiques from Karen slash Janet. Vintage Latin English Dictionary, you guys. How cool is that? From 1960. Wow. Um, she ended up selling this for a best offer of $195. And this came from her mom's estate. The next item is just, I, I just don't even know what to say about this. You guys, it's a little toy. It's a collectible, <clears throat> excuse me, Green Bay Packers mascot. Uh, Huddles? I don't know. There it is. How crazy is that? Um, this one was sold by uh, Designs by Josie, and she got this free from a friend and took a best offer of $70 on that, you guys. Plus shipping. Is that unbelievable? That is unbelievable to me. The next item was sold by Flippin' Palettes. Again, they do the palettes, the liquidation. This is a rare skin fix nourishing cream. And a lot of times what's good about palettes is you can get one item and you can list multiples. Um, and then you're, you know, listing one item with 20, you know, quantity 20. So it's really easy, but I don't know. It doesn't get me excited. I just, I like going out and thrifting and trying to find the treasures, but some people love it. And there are so many YouTube channels that are so successful that do this. So. Um, Check it out. You might like it. Uh, she got this off a of CVS palette and she paid approximately $2 each. 10 have sold for asking price. So she's sold 10 of them for $29.50. I know she told me she likes to spread her listings out. So like when one sells, she'll list another one so that she doesn't flood the market. And um, so that's what she likes to do. And that keeps income coming in all the time. So that's why you only see quantity one. Vintage mid-century modern um, Jerry style. And I love it. This is from Got Junk in Our Trunk. And she even, when she sent me the listing, she said it's pronounced Jerry. Probably because she knew I'd be like, Jer, Jer, Jer. It's Jerry. So she gave me a heads up, you guys. So I don't know. I just thought that was fun and wanted to share it with you. Um, I really like it that she knows me or she watches my channel enough to know that I always mess stuff up and she helped me out. So high five to that. Um, she sold this for uh, $49 on best offer and she got this at the Benz for $2. And they are, um, it's a sculpture. It's a candle holder with birds. The next item was sold by a little bluebird and this is a vintage women's perfume bottle. It is empty and it's a collectible. So because it's empty, you can sell it on eBay. And she got this for five cents and it came from, I'm sorry. Yeah. Five cents. And it was sitting in her money pile. So she had bought a bunch of this stuff and it's just been sitting and sitting and sitting. And I know she's really focusing on trying to get that stuff listed. And this sold for $44 plus shipping. The next item comes from Flippin' It Good. These Kenneth Cole women's shoes, they are a small size. Smaller sizes are harder to sell. So he did say these took a while to sell. But you guys, he got them for $34.99 at Burlington and he flipped them for $125. So I'm guessing the size is what made these harder to sell. The next item is this new head, the Monkees DVD. This one was sold by the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And she got this on Amazon back when it was first released for $14.99, hung on to it, and it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. The next item came from Yard Sales and Dreams. It's a rare vintage Lewis Nicole Victorian baby buggy prom Christmas ornament. Look at that. How cool is that? Pretty neat, right? She got this at a storage unit for a dollar and flipped it for $65 plus shipping. 
The next item comes from Queen of Hearts Charnel, and she actually picked this up at the bins, and I think she was going to keep it, and then she saw what it comped for, and she's like, ah, I think I'll sell it. It is a vintage raincoat by Wipe It, and it's got a flannel liner. She sold this for $63 plus shipping. The next item was this vintage Williamsburg apple cone 10-inch fresh fruit Christmas arrangement wood base. How cool is that, you guys? So you like make a little tree out of fruit. And um, she got this at the Goodwill for $4.99 and she flipped it for $125. And this one comes from the Thrifty Nichols. The next item is this Waterford Crystal Holiday Heirlooms Snow Crystal Jeweled Snowman Ornament. And this one was sold by Nikki Love Snacks. Super cool. Got to be really careful when you ship them. She got this for $3.99 at a charity shop, and she sold it for $75 plus shipping. The next item is this G.I. Joe police officer, and this one was sold by Gigi Gold, Gigi's Goldmine. And this was actually purchased from another member that I spoke of earlier, Auctions for You. And he bought a toy box from her, and this was one of the items in it. I believe it was a $100 toy box. And it must have had, his cost of goods was about $5 each. And he sold this one item for 50. So um, it's new old stock. And Auctions for You has tons of this stuff right now. So if you're interested in looking for um, reseller stuff, check it out. She's linked below. This one comes from Mutton Ridge Finds. It is a vanity uh, set and it's really really pretty it's got all of the you know it's got the little case and all the fun stuff that comes inside of it she said she did pay up for this at a vendor's mall she paid 48 and it only sold for 71.99 and i say only because her profits were not that big after fees so i think she was expecting to get more out of this one maybe she sat on it for a while um and reduced the price put it on sale but um still a good flip if you can find it cheaper. So um, you just never know. Sometimes, you know, things are a home run and sometimes they don't end up selling for as much as we think. Uh, this one comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. And this is a part of our Thrift 5 and 15, which is another reseller challenge that I did with a collab with other YouTube channels. So if you put hashtag Thrift, thrift 5 and 15, that will pull up all the videos. And what it was is we had to go into a thrift store. We had 15 minutes to grab five items and get out. And then you guys voted on who won. So really fun challenge. If you guys like those types of videos, there's a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of people did it. But she got this at a thrift store for $3.91. And she ended up taking a best offer of $30. And it's a puzzle. So, and I don't think she put puzzle in the title. So she probably should have put puzzle in the title. But how many times do you guys do that where you're like, I forgot to put what it was in the title. So um, the next item comes from, who's this come from? One Stop Shop 59. And it is a wood bowl. And she got it from her mother-in-law um, at an estate. And so it was free. And she ended up selling this for $100, you guys. It's a uh, teak wood. Super, super cool. Serving bowl, bowl hand-carved. And it's mid-century modern there. The next item comes from Wandering Creek Antiques. It is a sterling silver tiger's eye bracelet with a toggle clasp. She got this uh, for $5 in a bulk jewelry buy from a friend and sold it for $45 free shipping. So jewelry is great because it's so easy to list and it's easy to ship. This one comes from Auctions for You. And she did a wholesale buyout of makeup, cosmetics, um, mirrors, and she actually bought it from Mr. Buys a lot. And this was a while back before she got all of the toys, but she has sold tons of these Irving Rice mirrors at her auctions. Um, she sells them in lots so that people can buy them and sell them on eBay. This one she happened to list and it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Irving Rice is a great brand and it's a makeup mirror. The next item is this Department 56 Advent Calendar. This one came from Mindful Recycle. You guys, I feel like Advent Calendars just do well. Um, Department 56 is also collectible, but she got this at an estate sale for 
sold it for 200 and it sold overnight. Again, that was Mindful Recycle. The next item comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. It's a vintage rhino, rhinoceros animal figure. So let me see here if I can find a... I don't see any markings on it. So um, it doesn't look like it's any brand. So that is really cool that she sold something unbranded and she sold it for $190, you guys. Uh, thrift store, $6.50. The next item comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313 Build-A-Bear. If you guys haven't seen my top 10 Build-A-Bear to look for, definitely go check out that video. This one's a nice bolo. It's... Um, it's more than bread and butter, but it's not like one of the huge money ones, but it's nose lights up. And she got this. Where did she get this? Rudolph. Thrift store, five bucks, sold fast and sold it for 62, or wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, 62.10 plus shipping. And here is my favorite item. And this was on the thumbnail. You guys are not going to believe what this sold for. So first off, I'm going to tell you, this is from Cha-Ching King, and his tip for all of you is when you're at estate sales, look in the closets all the way in the back because the items in, are in the back are items that haven't been worn for a long time. So it's probably the older stuff. I, I just can't even believe this one. Um, It's a champion sweatshirt. It's USMA physical education. I love his main photo here. It's got all of the pictures. It's from the 70s. Here is his title. Vintage Champion Reverse Weave USMA Physical Education 70s Sweatshirt Gray Medium. Amazing keywords. This item is pre-owned. He took a best offer of $400 for this, you guys. $400 for a champion sweatshirt. And it sold in three hours. And the kicker is he paid $5 for it at an estate sale. So I just want to say, oh my goodness, I need to find some champion sweatshirts. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Um, if you like this type of video, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, leave me an emoji of a hat. And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the next one.